Love here and welcome to this flower hop which I'm so excited to be a part of. So Nicola thank you very much for the invite and you can find a link to everybody who's participating in my description box. Make sure you go and hop along. I'm excited to see what kind of flowers everybody is creating and I do have lots of flower tutorials already on my channel and I will link up here in the iCards, a playlist to um, the flower tutorials I already offer, but my favorite, my favorite flowers are doily flowers. I love doilies. So I thought we'd put together some doily flowers, but um, I'm going to add lace too because they're just even more fabulous with laces. So. I got out a bunch of doilies in various sizes and I already gathered up a bunch of laces. So the laces that I like to use in my doily flowers, I like to gather up scalloped laces and these embroidered uh, netting are, add such a soft touch. So I like those. I went ahead and gathered them so you didn't have to watch me gather laces, but I just put a straight a stitch across the top and then pull it through and then tie it off in a knot. So I have some of those and then here's another one I used and I just made a bunch of them in different sizes. So the only thing they all really have in common is that they have scalloped <laughs> edges. Except I did also uh, do these, this um, pleated tool trim that I get from Angel Ring Crafts. I love it. And it also adds a really nice layer to flowers. So I kind of just have a pile of doilies and a pile of these. And I thought we would just put some together. So I think I'm going to start with this big netting piece as my bottom. And then... <coughs> I want to put this. So now we're going to be begin the process of layering it up. And see, that is so pretty there. But I also, I want to save that piece because I can use that uh, on the top of the flower or on something entirely different. And this way you don't have so much bulk in, in your flower in the middle. So I like to, if I can, cut the middles out because these flowers can get real fluffy real quick. So I'll set that there. And so what I'm just looking for in every layer to get a little bit smaller, so you just see a little bit of that layer, the bottom layer sticking out. I think that is so super cute. Um, that might be too big, actually. Yeah, save that. Mm, do I have a lace layer I can put here? Oh, it's so, so cute. All right, now let me see. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, that's too big. Do I want that right there? I like to add um, a bunch of different colors too. You know, I like it to stay all neutral, but I do have different shades of creams and whites. And I think this one's actually um, a tea dyed lace that I created. Okay, that's cute. And that one, you see, it's already getting so floofy. Like, I don't want it to get too out of control here. So let me try to rein that in a little bit. I might go with this. And if I was going to use this as the top layer, I could go ahead and leave that on there. But I think I'm going to want a smaller doily right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the middle of this out, too. Now, you can sew it together, this flower, or you can glue it together. If I can, whatever I'm choosing to use for the middle, I like to sew it in and glue it in just for extra durability. 
So um, I don't like to glue in the middle because I want to have room to sew on my middle, my center, whatever I choose, my center. So then I'm going to put that there. And then I can add that to the top and then we can put a piece of bling. Oh, look how yummy. Look how yummy and beautiful that is. All right, so let me flip it upside down and start putting on some layers. And I'm just going to add little bits of glue. Trying not to burn myself, so let me get out my little finger finger protectors here. So I'm going to glue this one down. Over there and then over here. that layer and then this one came next it's just so pretty mm. pretty 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 and let's get that guy down so I'm just kind of gluing on the outside layer um, so that I can sew in the middle without running into glue glue is not fun to sew through <laughs> And I'm sorry there's like a shadow on my desk, y'all. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know how to fix that. I'll move my camera. No, that's not helping. All right, well then. So then I'm going to add this tea dyed lace. Yeah, that's so pretty. But it's going to be hard to, sew, to glue down. So I'm going to glue, I think, right outside of the edging trim so that I still can sew on my center piece at least I hope so really don't want to try to sew through glue that is not a good time so actually <clears throat> I just glued that on upside down but that's the beauty of these layers is you're actually not even going to be able to tell you won't even be able to tell. It's just pretty. So pretty. Alright. And also when you sew through the middle and you you sew whatever piece you're gonna use, it'll kind of smoosh this down which is kind of what you want so I just finished getting these pieces on I can't wait to see what everybody else is making I a flower YouTube pop is an amazing idea, Nicola. <laughs> All right. Oh, so stinking cute. All right, so I think I'm going to put the glue on this guy. And hmm, I can't decide if I want to do that or if I want to put another. Well, that might just be too much. <laughs> well, let's look at the bling box and see what we're going to do. I love getting into the bling box. And, ooh. is absolutely lovely. Look at that cameo. But that cameo does not have a way for me to sew it down. 
and it's really heavy so I'm not gonna just trust glue to that so it's gonna have to be for another project oh I just I do have this earring oh wouldn't that be cute I mean honestly half the battle for me is figuring out what I'm gonna do with the middle <laughs> There's so many great choices. Hmm. Precious. I love that. Also, I cannot sew that down. All right, what are we gonna do? What do you guys think about this little bow? Is that not adorable? Look at how cute that is. Okay, I think I want to go with this little bow. It's so, so cute. So let me glue on this guy. I think we are definitely gonna use it because it's such a little center. Mm. Cute and I probably do not have enough thread on this so I'm just going to make the knot in the bottom I don't have my cheaters on y'all and it is <laughs> really hard for me to see without my cheaters on okay there we go and hopefully it will come right up through the middle without running into too much trouble yes I should have used one of my long needles though mm. I'm going to go ahead and go glue it down too, just to kind of bring all these layers together before I sew that on. So I'm just going to pull it really tight and make a knot back here. I should have had one ready to go, another one ready to go. But see how you just pull that down tight and it's already super cute. And now we're just gonna tie this guy on. But I am gonna need more thread. I did not come prepared. <laughs> but there she is, isn't it cute? It looks like a little cupcake. It's adorable. Doily and nice flowers are my favorite. So I hope that you give it a go and see how easy it is and how quickly quickly they come together and just how very pretty they are. So make sure that you hop along to see what everybody else is creating. I can't wait to see all the flowers. And thank you again, Nicola, for the invite. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.